Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show, we will see how to integrate a pre-built Power Automate flow into our existing chatbot. So this show is the fourth consecutive show of our chatbot series. So let's dig in and see how this can be done. But before that, a small intro. So let's go to topics, which we are already inside and go to the authoring canvas of return items like this. So if you guys remember, we created this uh, return items topic and added these trigger phrases, added this message and uh, various conditions based on the uh, price of the product, right? So uh, today what we are going to do, if the price is less than 1000, which is this condition. So user ha user can return the product through mail, right? So as we uh, written this message here, that user can return the uh, product to this address and then it goes to the end of conversation. So what we are going to do is to integrate a power automate flow here after this condition. So if, uh, if the product purchase price is less than 1000 and we'll check the order details from the email ID of the user provided in this uh, chat with the chatbot. Uh, once the chatbot gets the order details, then we will check the uh, check with the user. We will ask a question with the user if he wants to return the product. If yes, then uh, we will call another flow which will process the return for the product and then will output a return code to the user return the order through mail. Right. Otherwise, if the user doesn't uh, say yes for returning the order, it will go to the end of conversation. So let's see how this can be done. So first of all, uh, delete this end of conversation and then add a ask a question here. So type in this text box a question, please enter your email address so I can look up the order and generate a return authorization code for you right so uh, once this is done Click the identify field and select email, search email here. So this will uh, check if the entered text is a email uh, and text, otherwise it will not uh, process the further details. So uh, save this response as the customer email, right? Leave it as a topic bot, click on save. Once the dialogue is saved successfully, click on this close and add another node and call an action. So here uh, we will call our pre-built flow, which will check the order details for that particular customer using the uh, email ID. A pre-built flow, get order info by email, select that. I'm not going into the details of how this flow is created. We can, uh, if it is required, please let me know in the comments. I'll create a video for that as well. So creating that flow in this uh, show is out of scope. Uh, so once the uh, flow is selected, let us select the customer email variable here. So this customer email variable will get passed into this uh, uh, flow and these are the various outputs generated by the Power Automate flow. Device name, customer email, uh, order number, order date, price, is warranty active, customer phone and serial number. Click add node again and select show a message. Write a message as uh, here are your order details. Right? 
write the device name email order number order date price and warranty now for each column select the variable name so for device name it's this variable for email it's email variable or maybe the uh, customer email one variable because it's changed as we are given the same name order number from this one order date this one price this one and warranty this one right so uh, once this is all selected click the node again and ask a question would you like to return the item right R is missing here and choose the boolean identity from the uh, uh, mul multiple choice options right select boolean and edit this variable name it as confirm return or maybe write confirm product return click on save then add a conditional branch uh, close this and then add a conditional branch right so if the confirm product return variable is equal to true then we have to call the another flow for return product otherwise if it is false then go to the end of conversation and end with survey so click add a node again and uh, click call an action select return item select a variable for the order number and email so the output of this uh, power automate flow gives the return code so that code user can use for returning the product through mail then click add a node again and click uh, show a message thank you i have initiated your return request The return confirmation code is now add the return code as the value here as the variable here all right then uh, click another node and end the conversation with a end with survey now save the topic So it will show a message dialog saved successfully now it's time to test your bot click test your bot make sure the track between topics is set to on type a message here i want to return a product click on send so as we have to return it through mail by the uh, updates we have done here so we have to enter a value below thousand dollars so let's give nine hundred dollars so as you see here a uh, bot is asking uh, to enter your email address so that the order can be um, checked and uh, it will generate a return authorization code so uh, enter your email id here now the bot has returned your order details right device name uh, and the order number with the order date price and the warranty so would, would you like to return the item click on yes so you see a message here thank you i have initiated your return and the return confirmation code is the code given here and then it's going to the end of conversation you can say yes and then and then it goes to the uh, feedback screen where you can uh, rate your experience you can say excellent no thanks 
so then it goes to the final screen thanks for chatting with me bye so guys congratulations you have successfully learned how to integrate power virtual agent chatbot with a power automate flow let me know in the comments below if you want to learn more in this section thanks for watching this show and please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys and see ya